What do you think of the prospects of having a black president? I think it's... Come on, come on. <laughs> no, I haven't given it much thought. How terrible is that? No, it's not terrible. That's honest. It's a guy running for president. Yeah, yeah. He just so happened to be black. That's right, that's right. That's an unfair question to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let me give, give me a second. That's okay. It wouldn't matter if he was green and from Mars. I don't know if anybody could dig us out of this hole. Bush has pretty much uh, <laughs> put us into depression, whether we like it or not. Yeah. I don't think it's a recession. I think it's depression. It's, it speaks volume. We're, we're going to have somebody that's going to support us and be there for us and, you know, represent us. I think it's good. Now, do you think when you hear people say, you know, okay, he's a black president, that means he's going to be just taking care of the black folks. What do you say to that? Because it's it's a it's a form of fear. A lot of people have fear. What do you say when you hear that? Nothing. I mean, he's going to represent us, but he's going to represent everybody. He's, you know, he's a Democratic. He's going he's to be there for us, I think. For right. everybody. I don't think he's a selfish person to where he only think of the black community. Right. He's going to want to do better for everybody and get us out of the circumstances that we're in now. Well, he's biracial. I mean, as yeah. his, his right. mother's yeah. white. So, so why would not, I, as a white person, I would not think that he would not represent us. Black man, white man, biracial. Apparently, with the folks I talk to here on the streets of Denver, it really doesn't matter. They just want a good president.